Hey there YouTube, AJ here, and today I've got a setup video for you and a little channel update news. So if you saw my previous video about where I went to a pump track, you saw that I had a really good time and I learned a lot about how to flow around the track and um, basically also learned that the board I had set up wasn't exactly great for that scenario. The big thing was the wheels were too small too hard and just kept sliding out. It was uh, made it hard to, to maintain speed. So I came to the decision, I wanna go back to the pump track. I'm gonna try to go back like once a month at least. And to do that, I, I decided I wanted to set up a dedicated board just for the pump track. Um, so to that effect, I picked up a Steve Caballero light deck. I figured uh, since this board was just going to be seeing one type of duty, we'll uh, make it a really nice setup for just for that. I uh, got some cool grip tape, caution strike grip tape from TGM. And yeah, shout out to TGM Skateboards in Michigan. Man, they ship stuff super fast. Their prices always include shipping. I love that. And this is a... Uh, Black diamond grip tape. I've never used it before, but I had to order wider grip tape for this board. And man, this, this grip tape was super long. What a value. I actually got three pieces of different colors, but uh, I'm gonna have enough to do this board, two other big boards, if I ever, when I get to that point. Plus the pieces I cut off, I'll be able to use to grip yet another board or, you know, throw some color into some of my regular grip tape patterns. But anyway, how awesome is that? So let's start off by getting the board gripped. I kind of do mine differently than everybody else because I don't like to get bubbles in it. I normally peel off just a little bit to start. And then get my grip tape positioned to where I know it's going to cover everything. And then I just stick down that beginning little part working from the nose to the tail. That way I can try to keep bubbles out of it. Then after that, I just start peeling them back a little bit at a time. And working my grip tape down. I just find that I get a lot less air bubbles this way. I know it's not as fast, but I'll speed the rest of this part up for you. All right, so I only had one bubble had to pop. That's good. Got it down pretty good. Use my uh, roller that I made out of a skateboard wheel and a piece of rebar. Let's scuff down the edges so we can cut it. All right, check out that cool this shape out on the grip tape. Love that. So I chose this deck for a couple of reasons. One, I love the old school shapes because, you know, I, I skated in the 70s and 80s, so I like these shapes. And then two, this has a nice kick tail on it, a nice little nose, not a super steep nose, but enough nose that you can still use it. It also has just a slightly longer wheelbase which I think will be better for you know speed in the pump track. Now, why I cut this out here, let me tell you my channel news. Two kind of big things happened to me in terms of my channel this week. One, I broke 200 subscribers, which is cool. I know that's not a lot, but it's still cool for me. I have a long ways to go before I can get monetized but you know it's kind of 200 mark that's 
that's kind of a, a small milestone, I think. I think it's something worth celebrating and being excited over. So I want to say thank you to all you that subscribed. Two, I actually got my first money from YouTube this week. Not from YouTube itself. I had some affiliate links that people must have clicked on and bought pro Amazon product from. And I got a little check, whole whopping $4.49. From Amazon. Now, again, four dollars and forty-nine cents in and of itself is nothing crazy. Nothing, you know. I'm not rich, obviously, but I still think it's pretty cool that it's it's another step I've made forward in the YouTube world, and I find it kind of fun and, and neat that I did that. So I'm excited about it. But. Overall, I want to say thank you to those of you that subscribed and thank you to those of you that clicked my Amazon affiliate links and bought product. Oh, the other news is Amazon also <laughs> decided I wasn't making minimum uh, quota on my affiliate links and they also, so they, so they uh, terminated my affiliate link management. <laughs> Amazon giveth, Amazon, Amazon taketh away. It's still a step forward and it's still fun for me to say I'm technically a paid YouTuber now. So that's kind of cool. All right, overall, I think the grip tape is not too shabby. Looks pretty good, I think. We'll sand down these edges. through here. I've also been thinking a lot about skateboarding in different ways lately. When I went to the pump track, I met a little BMX kid that was there with his father. You know, they were riding their bikes around and the little kid kind of cracked me up. He was giving me advice and stuff like but basically his advice just kind of boiled down to telling me that I needed to go faster. <laughs> Trying to explain to him, you know, when you're 56 and on a skateboard, it's a lot harder than uh, being an eight and on a bike, it's much, a lot easier. But you know, kids are kids, what are you gonna do? Anyway, my interaction with the kid and his dad talking to him at the park got me to thinking about what skateboarding is given to me. And it's given to me, given me a couple of different things. One is just getting to meet different people. And by that, I mean, not only just new people, but people of different races, nationalities, uh, everything, Every, you know, just different, different lifestyles of people. You know, it's kind of cool to be introduced to that and have everybody just all getting along in one place. It was, it was it's, it's been a, a pleasant experience for me, just how, um, I, you know, I used to go to skate parks and be kind of afraid to go into them. And now it's like, I look forward to it. It's just like, I've, I have not felt unwelcomed at a skate park yet. And I find it pretty cool the way, how open people are in skating and just makes it an enjoyable experience. Before I go, go further, I switched to using Olympia bearings. I'm told that it's a North Carolina company, so I wanted to support a North Carolina company. They come in this really cool package with a wax seal that I already broke. But uh, anyway, being a North Carolina company and I live here now, I thought I'd try to support them. They have three grades that I've seen, um, gold, silver, and bronze. I'm using the silver in these. Uh, the silvers, are a few bucks more than the like Bones Reds, which is what I traditionally use. Their, their gold standard is about twice as much, so I don't really pop for those. Maybe I should have on this board because I want speed, but... Um, anyway, I've been happy with what I've used of these so far. Uh, they're, they're bronze ones, which I think I'm going to get those for my next street board and kind of compare them to Bones Reds. 
but their their bronze ones with shipping are pretty much the same price as bones reds i'm putting these in a set of 66 meter meter i'm putting these in a set of 66 millimeter um, santa cruz slime balls and there you are uh, 78 diameter so they're a softer wheel a bigger wheel hopefully these will get me the speed and handling i need i do run spacers in all my wheels i don't know if it's really necessary but i've always done it i like that i can tighten my wheels down and uh to, to where the friction stops the wheel and then um back them off just a little bit until they spin freely again and it seems to make it easier to get the tightness right but that's just me you do you i'm going to keep using spacers i've always have i probably always will i don't see a reason to quit I also got uh, hardware from Olympia this time. It comes in a cool little cloth bag. They got some nice packaging, nice touches, I guess. I also run speed rings, speed rings, washers, whatever you want to call them, on my um, setups. Again, always have. So I just tighten them down till they're tight. Then start loosening them until they spin nicely without slopping around. All right. I'm also running, I've kind of grown partial to Ace trucks. And again, being old school, I do run with my graphics out. We always did. I don't understand. I guess people want to save their graphics, but I always rotate my wheels anyway. So eventually my graphics go both end up being on both sides. So I just run them out on the outside to start with. some hardware through. So the other thing skateboarding has really given to me and has started to really help me in the rest of my life is just the focus. Well, one, it's a release from tension and, and you know, the daily grind stuff. It's a, it's a relaxation thing. It's health benefits, all of that. I've talked about that before though. The other thing is, you know, learning to do tricks is not easy. And it teaches you, you know, if you start pursuing skateboarding and you stay with it, and the determination it takes to learn how to do even basic tricks, is something that helps you deal with issues in everyday life. And that kind of same attitude can be transferred towards the other things you're doing. And I think it's actually a very beneficial thing for kids especially to learn. Because I know that myself, I have benefited from it and it's made me more productive in other aspects of my life. Um, I don't know, just being able to take the same kind of determination I used to learn skating tricks 
to even my regular job. So I really like that. Now the original plan was to set up this board and take it to the pump track this weekend. However, we have been getting crazy amounts of rain for the past week. And it's also supposed to rain this, this weekend. In order for me to go to the pump track, I gotta get up, get there early, try to get there before all the bicyclists. I don't like to be in other people's way. Because I know I know where my skill level's at, and I don't want to impede. Hold on, I've lost a nut. Found the nut. Anyway, I know where my skill level is, and I don't want to impede those that are, you know, able to maximize the use out of the pump track or those that are actually using it for training, that type of thing. So I just like to try to be cognizant of what others are doing and not create a problem for them. So I try to get there early, get my fun out of the way, and then let them have it. So basically, what I'm getting down, getting to is here is... Unfortunately, I'm not going to have a... Unfortunately, what it comes down to is I'm not going to have any video of me hitting the pump track on that in this video. Okay, there we have it. We have our Pal Peralta Steve Caballero flight deck with uh, Ace Manufacturing Trucks, 66 millimeter OJ Slime Balls, Olympia Bearings, Olympia Hardware. Did I miss anything? Oh, black diamond caution tape, grip tape. I think we're ready to roll. Unfortunately, I can't take it out to the pump track. But, till then, YouTube. Later.